Uh, I, I this is just like uh, if you someone looked at the mech tech weapons from Darker the Moon or Prime and said, mm. "How can we make these worse?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's this, it's like they finished designing Blitzwing on first day and and delivered the design on Friday, and then after lunch, someone said, "Oh, and you need to integrate the uh, the hands." And you go like it. Do, it does kind of. You're, be... so, you're, you're so bored. You just want to go home. So you do do a half-assed job. It it is. <laughs> it really it really feels like somebody just wanted to be part of this, and tack this on. And like he was a higher up, and he goes, "I want to be part of Blitzwing. <clears throat> I got an idea. Hulk hands." Mm-hmm. Right. Like, like that it, was. Oh my god! I'm. Like it feels. Like I'm trying Gene, to imagine the scenario. It, Gene Roddenberry, whenever they did Star Trek, he, like, th- there was this, uh, the band uh, who did the end song, that little, <laughs> that thing at the end of every episode of the original Star Trek, the, the, the group was called Courage. But Roddenberry wanted, wanted half the money from that Star Trek song. So without huh. that band's knowledge, he wrote lyrics to that song that suck. And that's what this feels like. <laughs> Somebody wanted half the profits from this toy. How do I do it? Let's add on hands. <laughs> Beyond the rim of starlight, my love is wandering in star flight. I know he'll find in star clustered reaches love. Strange love a star woman teaches, I know. His journey never ends. His Star Trek will go on forever. But tell him while he wanders his starry sea, remember, remember me. So I like, don't know what is the most amazing, the fact that there are lyrics to that song or that you remember them by heart. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have, I, I, I have a, a nursing drive to work. 